Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Tools Day. And you know, last week we did a pretty good review on the Milwaukee Framing Nailer. I've been using that out on site, but today we're gonna talk about another nailer. So let's get into it. All right, guys, has anybody ever seen one of these? This is the Pazload Roofer's Choice. And when this came out and when I bought this years ago, it was the coolest thing ever. And this is not the tools day that we're talking about, but it is the same category. This was the first, I think the only that I knew of, coil roofing nailer that, that was cordless, or I should say hoseless because it never had a cord, but most roofing nailers have that are pneumatic they have an air hose this was free of a hose i loved it but it fell short in a ton of different places and if you had one you probably know i do believe they've even discontinued them now what got me so excited is last year at the stafta event i seen uh, dewalt introduced a new coil roofing nailer and it finally is out and it is battery powered so Unlike the pass load that had a battery that also needed gas, this one is not claiming to need anything but a 20 volt DeWalt battery. So I haven't even opened it. This is an unboxing. I'm not gonna tell you to go out and run out and buy this thing. That's for you to decide, but I'm excited. I've seen this being used and it looks like a pretty legit nailer. I know I give DeWalt a lot of hard time with their framing nailers. I'm just not a fan of them, guys. I know a lot of you out there use them and like them, I just don't. I don't like the ramp up, uh, spool up speed noise and all that other stuff. And I just never really liked the way they felt in my hands. So I hope that this one changes my mind and brings me back to liking some DeWalt. Look at that, there it is. Wow, that's, uh, that's actually smaller than I anticipated comparing it to the uh, pads load. Even though I don't think we really should compare these, that's, that's not bad. I do believe it's probably even lighter weight. They're claiming it to be 6.7 pounds. It has a lot lighter weight than that Milwaukee framer that I've been using since the last tools day, which is working out pretty good, by the way. Uh, let's see, what else do we got in this kit? This is the kit. This is gonna run around 399. We got the, uh, obviously got the nailer. We got a charger, the chintzy charger, and looks like they throw in a two amp hour battery. I never use these. I know a lot of guys might say, oh, it's less weight, uh, use it on a drill. I just don't ever use them. The four or five amp hours are good for me, but this is the battery it comes with, and they're claiming that you're gonna get 500, up to 500 nails on one of these charges, and they equate that to roughly 100 square foot of roofing. So if you're a roofing contractor and you've got a 50 square roof to do, you're probably not gonna use this, but honestly, I'm not gonna use it for that. You will never probably see me, I won't say never, but you'll probably never see me out banging shingles on, asphalt shingles, with this gun. But that doesn't mean I'm not excited and that doesn't mean I won't use it, because I will and I've been waiting for this. So let's get into kind of what I think I'm gonna use this for and we'll talk about some of these other features on the gun. Okay, so they do have a belt hook, which is interesting. So no rafter hook, which I guess makes sense because if you're roofing, you should have all your sheathing on. There's really no need for a rafter hook. So yeah, I got a belt hook. I'll probably put that on later. So this is claiming, DeWalt is claiming to be able to fire three nails per second, which is the exact same claim by the Milwaukee Framing Nailer, which is really fast. So if this is as fast, I would be pretty impressed. It's gonna be able to shoot inch and three quarter nails down to a three quarter inch, 15 degree coil nail very similar mechanism of every coil nailer I've ever used where cap comes over top and then you lock it down. Looks pretty much like I would expect. I like to see all this metal here. It's not plastic. So that's kind of nice. Feels nice and durable. Let's see, we've got adjustable depth here, obviously. The standard DeWalt release lever. So if it jams on you, which that has been usually my problem is the jamming. Other than that, it's a, it's a nail gun. So let's go ahead and get a battery in. Let's go ahead and get a coil of nails. Let's see how it shoots. I just wanna hear what it sounds like. I wanna see how responsive it is, how quick it is. And, uh, and then we'll go from there.
Okay, so this uh, nailer is able to shoot three quarter to inch and three quarter, like I said, you've got this adjustable, I guess, base for your nails. So we're gonna go ahead and move that to inch and a quarter. That's what we're gonna shoot for purposes of demo. And because I don't have anything else, that's all I have is inch and a quarter. I'm just gonna feed that. That does seem just a little bit chintzy there. I don't know what that is, but it seems a little bit, a little bit chintzy. Anyway, so that's as easy as loading the nails. I think most people are gonna already know how to do that. You've probably done it with other nailers. We'll put the battery in and you'll notice there's no, there's no on off button, there's no power. I did notice there's a couple lights up here that I'm assuming this is obviously battery indicator and then if there is a fault, so if it's jammed or whatever, that's probably gonna light up and then you're gonna be able to use this. But if you guys are as excited as I am, I just wanna see how this goes. I'm assuming it's gonna ramp up and shoot like every other DeWalt nailer. Let's just, well, let's just do this. Yep. So that's a pretty common noise that you guys are probably used to. The thing I don't really like, I don't know, it's just annoying, but if performance is there, I can get past that. It's very possibly my fault. Could have been the way the nails were loaded, I don't know. This must have been my fault because this is really weird. It turned the head sideways and the nail is actually flipped up and the next one is going in. So it could have been when I was messing with this, I might have not had it in all the way. I don't know, I guess we're gonna shoot it a couple more times, see what it does. And I wanna definitely do some bump fire just going crazy because they're saying three per second. We don't have any asphalt here, so this is just a test to see the performance. Let's go ahead and adjust the depth. I want it to stick out a little bit more. I do not like it when my nails on shingles blow through. Obviously, you don't want that to happen, otherwise they're gonna blow in the first wind. Not bad, you can see there's definitely a timing like all other cordless nailers. You can't just go, you can't just go hard at it. You have to find that rhythm, which yeah, it's not as fast as pneumatic. In fact, I have a pneumatic right here. Let's go ahead and let's just kind of show the difference. We got a, something you don't see often, but air hose. So yeah. As fast as you want to go with a pneumatic, you're probably going to be able to do that. You can probably hear the compressor in the background. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with the hose. But if you're going to do a 50 square roof like we talked before, you're not going to change the battery 50 times. However, that is pretty good. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not that interested on this nailer for Oh, the, even pulling the battery, it doesn't stop spooling up, but. Okay, so like I was saying before I was interrupted by the compressor, is that I'm excited for this nailer, not for its roofing nail capability, but I use roofing nails uh, in hand drive mode a lot on site because I'm always tacking up trims. I'm installing things like soffit, versetta stone, windows. I mean, you name it, we use a lot of hand drive roofing nails because I don't want to bust out a, um, a pneumatic. I don't want to have the air on site running around if I don't have to. That was why I bought this because it was going to be the answer. It, it always jammed. And here's what I'll, here, I'll show you exactly what it's going to do because it will probably do it. Man, Pazload had a great opportunity. They just didn't have it yet. But let me pull this crappy board back up here. Let me see if it happens. Oh, this battery's dead. Okay, we got green. Okay. So it is very inconsistent and in what I was finding, and that actually did really good. I haven't used this thing in, 
I bet you I haven't used this nailer in a year. So kudos, Pazload, for just working the battery. I didn't even charge. It misses a lot of nails, and I was finding that I was just buying so much gas because after using it a while, and especially in colder weather, you're lucky to get one out of two nails to fire. But anyway, back to the DeWalt. This is gonna be awesome on site for us, specifically for tacking up trims. Let's say we've got a piece of double angle. This is a Z-Flash that we're gonna use above our wainscot, and we've got to snap our line. We get that nice crisp line. Normally, we go through and we hand tack all that, or we'll use a stapler. But the staples, like a, um, an 18 gauge crown staple, just doesn't have the same holding power. So if you go up and put your sheets of steel on this trim, the weight of them can move the steel, right? Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Look at that, depth of drive, money. You don't have to worry about missing a nail, which, hey, we're all professional carpenters, some of us, I still miss more than I would care to say. And when you're nailing with your big old, oh geez, that, that's a little bit annoying though. When you're you know hitting these in with your framing hammer and you just barely tap a corner of a piece of trim, you're having to go replace it. That's awesome. Setting a window, that would be great if I can get it to not set that nail too tight. Maybe DeWalt will come out with a placement tip for vinyl siding. That would be awesome. We like to install Versetta Stone. You guys have probably seen it on the channel. It's an awesome uh, product that goes up like siding. It's got a metal fin on it. A lot of times we'll have to either screw it or pound a nail. And it's just one of the things you don't want to have to replace a piece because at like 20 some bucks a piece, it's pretty expensive. And that's nice because there's enough depth in my uh, tool that I can come straight in and hit it. So it's not impeding anything to hit on this stone. So maybe you guys are asking yourself, why is this the first coil roofing nailer? Well, not the first, because we know the Pazlod was out. But the problem is with a, a traditional framing nailer like this, you put your clip in and the spring is what keeps those nails going towards the tip where you can fire them. It doesn't require anything additional. It's just using the pressure of the spring. However, with a coil framer, you gotta remember these guys have to be uncoiled. So it has to, the, the nailer itself has to physically take the nail coil and uncoil it and bring it towards uh, the tip so that it can eject the nail. And this nailer is pretty complicated. There's a bunch going on here that I don't know exactly what it's doing. I understand the process, but we've got, you can see on the back here, as the nail fires, it's coming back. And I'll show you that in a high speed. It has to bring this cylinder back while simultaneously, see if I can show it here, drop these little fingers so that it can grab the next nail and bring it forward. And that is why it has taken so long to do this because it requires a lot of energy to perform all of these functions. And battery power is finally getting to the point where it can compete with the pneumatic, I don't know, I mean, counterparts. Obviously it's not as fast. Who knows, maybe it will be someday. But I just wanted to share, in case you guys were curious, why this is just now coming to the market because of this whole apparatus right here at the bottom that has to uncoil a coil set of nails, which I don't even know what I did with one, has to uncoil this. Uh, that requires a lot of energy. So I think that's pretty much right. That is how it was explained to me by somebody in the nailer industry, not DeWalt, somebody else that I was bugging to make a coil nailer. And they said, listen, it's, it's not that we can't do it. It's that we can't be efficient and consistent with it. And so that's what I am most excited to see is if DeWalt figured it out or if it's going to be like the pass load and it's gonna end up over time missing a lot of nails, but that will be in the future. We don't know yet. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do some more demos. So 
So another thing that I'm excited about using this nailer for is soffit. And if you guys watch the channel, we use the crown, uh, narrow crown stapler for that. However, it does sometimes deform the profile because it's, you know, wide versus just one nail going in. So this is another thing that I'm definitely hoping to use this for. I don't know. Let's see if it, oh yeah. Very easy to, uh, to get it lined up right in the center. And that is gonna definitely keep your soffit from going anywhere in any major storms. For us, a lot of times, you know, we might run the soffit, but it might not get fully covered up and secured for a day or two. To have good security is a big deal. And anytime you don't have to hand, hand nail in your soffit, you're definitely gonna save a lot of time, which is money. So that would be another plus for this nailer. So those are some of the major uses and reasons I've, I'm super excited about the DeWalt roofing nailer, even though I will probably never do any roofing. And I don't think that anybody is expecting this to go out and be a replacement as a roofing nailer for any pneumatic uh, on a roofing team of, of carpenters. Like that's just not going to probably be the case but an everyday DIY guy, somebody that dabbles in roofing, somebody that's reflashing a chimney, putting new siding on and has to replace some, some shingles, this is gonna be awesome because you know as well as I do when you go up on a roof and there's hoses dangling around, it's a safety hazard. This is gonna be hose free. So the battery power, it looks like it's gonna, it looks, looks, because we haven't had it out on site for any amount of time, it looks like it's gonna do the job and I'm really excited. If you guys are as excited as I am and you are wanting to look into uh, getting one of these, I will throw a link down below. Go check it out if you want. It is an affiliate link and it does support me, but don't go do it just because of this video. Do it because you think you're gonna use it. If you do, let me know how it worked out for you guys. Come back, lay a comment in the, in the comment section or come check out Instagram and you can DM me over there and I try to respond to all those DMs. But I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have a good one and we'll catch you on the next Tools Day.